Hello everyone, I am Chester44 and welcome to this let's play of Horizon Zero Dawn. Last episode we went and completed another quest that needed completing, and now I think it's finally time for us to make our way in to Meridian. We'll go and ride in. I think we need to go, yep, we need to go over this bridge. Care about the watchers. They're not really a threat. I think it's this way. Yep, this way. Yeah, got a bunch of guards, so we must be close. I do like how well defended this place is. Ah, interesting. There's actually... Ooh, there it is. Oh, sorry about that. We are getting close. There's a merchant over here, and we do have things we need to sell. Meridian Village, as opposed to Meridian itself? Meridian proper? Now we can't enter this location. Alright. So, it's a merchant just to the south. There's also. A vantage up there. I want to get up there. Ah, good. We got a way up right here. Almost there. This has to be where this vantage is. It's gotta be a good vantage of some kind. Okay. So what is this place? Eagle Canyon. A pocket shit storm tour. Day nine. I was setting up my tent right here when Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could, but you'd already slipped into a coma. We never got a chance to say goodbye. Eagle Canyon. Okay, then. Oh. It is a lovely view, and Meridian is actually quite impressive. It's part of set two. Alright, let's go back down and head into Meridian itself. Interesting to see what the main major city is like. Also, merchant just to the south. I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all, Karja. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. Hmm. All right, merchant. You have anything new for me? You do. Shadow rope caster. Interesting. I need a snap maw heart for that. Uh, shadow sharpshoot bow, shadow war bow, shadow rattler, shadow blast sling. A Shadow Rattler. 
close range bolt gun fires multiple projectiles with each shot. It does have lightning and ice. So that is a thing. Okay, what about outfits? Osram he Arrow Breaker Heavy. Osram Silent Hunter Heavy. I need a bellow back hard for that. Resources, traps, and potions. Grab the free sample box. Uh, right. We should have a whole bunch of boxes here. We do. Alright, open them all. Thank you. Now, are there things we can sell? There are. Oop, not that. Some of these things might actually be quite valuable or useful. There we go. Oh, and those. Nice. We do have some mods. I'll hold on to them for now. I don't know what else we can find in the city. Okay. What's going on here? Roland's in there, somewhere. And so is Aaron. That other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. Hmm. Well, we've made it in. This is a very well defended place. down to... I guess that's supposed to be the village. Oh yeah, we got a whole bunch of things to look at over here. City is locked down? Uh-oh. Stop concerning. right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Karja forces in Redridge Pass. Shadow Ursa. Karja? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! Yeah. I thought you were... Dead. Make way, make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drink's on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. Hmm. As you wish, sir. Well, he seems nice, there, but I'm alone concerned. as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? Your sister? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am. Stumbling around in them. Hmm. I lost someone too. I, uh. I lost someone too. At the proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Oh. Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? Yeah, uh, why I'm here. A lot has happened since we last spoke. The proving was... 
attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I imagine it wouldn't. But let's speak of him. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Hmm. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. Alright, time to go to Olin's. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. Alright, I'll be with you. There are a lot of guards. Talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. There's a lot of guards in here. Wow. That girl. Is she Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Will regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Hide in his palace to lace blood for blood. Oh boy. Vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister murdered and her death unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! He is not taking this well. Not now. He is not taking this well at all. Yeesh. We'll speak with the merchants and everything later. This must be the house. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <laughs> oh, that was subtle. <laughs> Here we are. Try not to break anything. Yep. Other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. I don't say that. What's this? The corner of this rug is frayed, and the floor near it is worn. Is there anything upstairs as well? Woven fabric painted with an ochre and insect-derived pigments shows a family unit. Well, he had a family. We got something below, so let's investigate this rug. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Expertly braced and reinforced. I don't think you're getting through that hatch. Um, about what happened outside. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sober enough, all right? I don't need another lecture. That's not what I meant. I was talking about what happened outside with the crowd. 
I don't want to talk about that. We're here because of what you said about Olin, so do what you need to do. All right. Have you been here before? Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. Hmm. And oh, do you have any information on Olin and the Sun King? You said Olin has connections in the royal court. Does he know the Sun King personally? No. He served the court as a scout sometimes and sold ancient trinkets to nobles, but he never had an audience with the king. If you're right and Olin's into something dark, Sun King Avad has nothing to do with it. I'd stake my life on that. It's possible he might, though. I need to look I'll look around. around. That's what we came for. Alright, so, some way to break open this door. I bet there's something upstairs. Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. Hmm. Oh! We can go a little higher here. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. This should open that hatch. <coughs> You're kinda strong, Aloy. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? How else were we gonna get in there? Let's see what skeletons Olin's got in his closet. Or basement. A message from Serve and they live. Disobey, and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. Well... That explains why he was doing things. Olin's journal. And two-dimensional representation etched directions geographical data transposed. Let's check this map. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Okay, but where does this map show? That I'm not sure about. Okay. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Okay. Data point three, Olin's journal. Fourth day. I am a traitor now and see no way out. If I start at the beginning, how they turned me. Perhaps I can see something I missed? No, there is no escape. What good can writing it do? Tenth day. You gave me this folio when you taught me to write. All these years later, it still smells of you. Lavender and ash of the forge. All I have left of you. Write me notes, you said when you gave it. Share your thoughts. Tear the leaves. Send the pages to show I'm thinking of you. But I never did. Hands too grubby to touch parchment. Oh, I wish I'd done as you said. Oh, I wish I could now. Fifteenth day. The same dream. Your hair in the forge light. Your son's weight on my shoulders. All of us free. You turn to me and whisper. It is a dream. I answer. Yes, I know. And then wake. Alone. Even awake, my life 
there's a dream, a lie. The treachery will not buy you from your freedom. It only buys time. But every moment you live, that he lives. If treachery is the cost, I will pay it. 34th day. Every week the device calls me in secret to a new dig site. We work like men with whips to our backs. So it was left to us to upturn the soil of the entire earth and time has run low, scrabbling to find the carcasses of ancient demons. It's the weapons they want, must be. What misery am I helping birth into this land? Thirty-eighth day. I drink with Erend and Ursa, but not even the sweetest brew can wash a taste of guilt from my mouth. Every day my silence betrays them. The villains watch through the device. I keep expecting Ursa to stick a blade through my throat, but fire and spit she does not suspect me. Better liar than I thought myself. Must be. Fifty-fourth day. Fitful sleep the past three nights, thinking on that Nora girl. Why did it order her killed? The device. Must be. Even so, what threat could she pose? We heard it dis explosions and distant screams from the village. I thought the savages might blame us, turn on us. I almost wished for it. But their matriarchs ordered us gone. We fled to the border with an escort of braves crossed at day tower. Now I am called to a dig in the rock wreath. They promise another glimpse of you, of our son. How I hope to see you both. That's interesting. We have information. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? I see things with the focus. The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. I should be going. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. All right. So we have two main quests now. Find Olin at the excavation site that was marked on his map, and Field of the Fallen, and meet Aaron in Red Ridge Pass. So, there's the excavation site. Where's Red Ridge Pass? Further north. All right. So we have our goals and our tests, and there are a whole bunch of quests here as well. So, we'll be looking through Meridian in the next episode. Episode a little shorter here, but I think that this is a good point to pause. Next episode, we shall explore Meridian. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Aloy. This has been a Let's Play of Horizon Zero Dawn. 
and I shall see you all next time.